Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 44 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. In the last video, we invented everything. So I'm just going to create a Nova Cannon 4. You need a Sunstone, 5 Holy Stones, 15 Sticky Clay. And I'm also going to make a Samurai Arm 4. These are basically the strongest weapons in the game for Steve. Make sure you don't craft with your sunstone, or make sure you don't break down your sunstones. You get three of them in the game. One for 100% Chapter 7 Giorama, one for winning the Master Finny Frenzy, and one for going into one of the dead ends in the Zelmite Mines. So you need at least one to make the Nova Cannon for. 1600 attack. <laughs> and 1800 attack, but it's melee. So, look at the difference between the three and the four. <laughs> it's quite massive. So in order to actually equip the Nova Cannon four, we're gonna have to um, either give Steve a lower backpack or we just some, anything to reduce his capacity really because this will take up a, a, an extra five points of it. We're just going to stick with the uh, samurai arms for now though. The good thing about having the arms is he's able to block and they do more damage than the Nova Cannon but you have to get up close and personal which can be good and can be bad. So yeah, we are also just going to throw together a propeller leg quickly so that we can swap between the two. Uh, there, it's going to be all the way up here. It's one of the earlier things that we made. So equipping a propeller leg is slower than the hover pack obviously, but it should let us equip the Nova Cannon 4. Yep. Alright, so let's just put this back on, and then put this back on, and we'll leave him like that for now. You could, of course, also to give him slightly weaker armor if you really wanted to, but it's, it's whatever you want to do. We're also going to just go on over to Venicio, because we're going to actually just show Donnie our last two scoops. And he'll have a unique bit of dialogue afterwards, because there won't be any more scoops to show him. Right in heal. Hey, how goes the Zelmite hunt? If there's anything I can do, just give me a holler. You got two scoops, I knew you had it in ya. Looks like there's no more scoops to be had. You don't actually get any rewards for giving him the last two after photography level eight. So yeah, that's it. Now we'll take a look at our scoop book. One hundred percent complete. No more scoops to be had, as he said. Now I already um, put a copy of Flotsam into my book, but we're also going to want to put the Legend of the Moon in there. So yeah, that's a good setup we got going right there. We'll just hold on to that, because why not? There's no real reason to get rid of it. There's no reason to keep it either, though. Alright, back to the mines. Ah. So, pretty much what's going to go on in here, what my plan is right now, is to pretty much just get a few weapon levels, and get some secondary low level weapons leveled up so that we can use them to break them down and put them onto our ultimate weapons to make them more ultimate super fast. Now I want to be as efficient as possible with this considering how long it's going to actually take to do this. Yeah like look at how much damage he does. It's pretty bad actually. <laughs> 
considering how much HP the actual monsters have here. If we were to hop on Monica, her Island King has max damage. Look at that, 1100. Well, it still has stats to that it can go up, but its attack is max from what I'm from what I remember. And her armlet needs a lot of work too. Okay, so let's just put this sun armlet on. It's gonna what's it's what's gonna give us the most stats uh, the most quickly. this and take that what was even the metal for this floor I didn't I didn't really look uh, items okay we're probably just gonna do this floor to unlock both both paths and then we're gonna just kind of go back and do a little bit of grinding dark alchemist Quick, and that was. Yeah, we almost forgot to change on over to the sun armlet. There we go. So, if you want to, you can just make level up powders and just do the infinite money grind and make it forever, which is actually kind of my plan to get these things up to the ultimate weapon level. Just simply because it'll save time. And I mean a lot of time, because the. The less that we need to rerun these floors unnecessarily, the better. Because, you know, time's precious and other things to do. And I want to show you guys the most efficient way to do this, if possible. Okay, let's put this thing back on. This is basically going to be the best way to uh, get stuff done, like leveling our weapons up quickly. The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian. Sounds like that could be a movie title. In fact, it probably is. That is abysmal damage. Max probably does more against this thing. That's the problem with Hammer. Hammer, I don't really like using it because of how slow it is, but it does do more damage against certain enemies. It's definitely worth holding on to. Like, you don't really want to get rid of the thing, but I do find that his wrench is better against enemies that aren't particularly resistant to anything. So it's usually good to have the max level hammer and uh, the max level wrench, in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna let Monica finish this with her armband. Oh wow, her armband does a lot more damage than her sword. I mean, that's not bad, we needed the level on it anyway. But we are trying to get this sun armlet to plus 5 quickly. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I know what their footsteps sound like. <laughs> I've never liked fighting these things. Luckily there's a rock there, that'll help us out a little bit. Cool. This is still tedious no matter how you look at it. Oh, he only has one more hit. Alright. Maybe one of these are a mimic. Possibly. Because we're still leveling our weapons, I, it's just, I would say it's unfeasible to uh, say that we're going to get the time challenge done. 
We don't even need those elements anymore. They're really not used for anything. Oh yeah, we're able to make light speed now. Uh, where was it? I think it's you know, 32. So, I don't really know if that's worth doing because it uses holy stones. It's not really the kind of thing I would love. I love the idea of using. It seems like it might be a supercharged holy stone. I'm gonna have to test that out off camera and we'll let you guys know if it's worth doing. Oh, he actually takes damage from this armband. What does Steve do to this thing? <laughs> he probably tears it up. 1800, oh, 1800 attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he deals damage through the shield too. Sweet. And Steve is down. Well, that's uh, what happens when you let him take damage. Now we have the right one equipped. Nice. Not yet. That does not deal damage yet. That is a pack of mobs right over there. This armband's damage is horrible. <laughs> it definitely needs work. Okay, it's plus five. So it'll give a large amount of flame, cyclone, and exorcism. So what really needs that? I mean, this armband could definitely benefit from that. Uh, so can Max's hammer. And Supernova could too. So I don't want Monica to be my only powerful character, so I think I'm going to put that onto Max's gun. So what's the lowest stat on Max's gun? It's flame, so we can probably put more flame onto this thing. Uh not really. What's his what's his second lowest stat? Chill. We can do chill. Cause I, I know this thing needs chill anyway to actually upgrade. We're not gonna upgrade it, but I know that it won't run out if we just put 32 chill on here. <laughs> it won't run out of space. Cool. Time to break it down. <laughs> Supernova is actually like a really good ultimate weapon because it's pretty much, it's not really weak against anything. It's good against basically every monster. So now that this gun got a nice little boost, we should be able to level up those uh, other weapons that we have there on max a little bit, e a little bit more easily since this thing will actually do somewhat decent damage now. Uh, not really. <laughs> It'll, it, it needs a little bit more work still, unfortunately. Steve actually just does big damage, so let's just bring him back. He also takes pretty big damage, though, so it's a trade-off. I think Steve's damage will make it a lot easier to... Um, Level things up. Okay, so let's put this on, and we'll put this on too. Sweet. Steve just takes care of business, seriously. <laughs> That's a really good thing to get. Oh yeah, there we go. That's decent damage. 
<laughs> oh. Remember, getting barfed on makes you thirsty, apparently. <laughs> uh, drink, drink some water. We need to start doing some speeda so we can get some fruits of Eden, fruit of Edens and potato pies. And a witch parfaits, of course. The Dak Alchemists. Max is just too weak, I don't like it. It's a Mimic. It's a King Mimic. Monica will tear this thing up. She does good damage against Mimics. Although when this thing has 10,000 HP, it doesn't really matter how good, good your damage is. It's still gonna take a little while. Alright, that should be good. Put the supernova back on. This is incredibly tedious, yes, but it's just the fastest way to get things done. there, making progress. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. Okay, and this should get this one to plus five, and then we can level up the other one. Yep. Monica will probably do good things against the both of them. Yep, that's good damage. And she's dead. Well, at least her sword got a level up. be slightly faster to just have Steve do this and then just hop on to Max to have both of his low-level weapons level up at once. That might be the most efficient way to do this, actually. And actually have a chance of completing the time challenge, too. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's just use another ride pod fuel. Oh yeah, just look at that damage, seriously. <laughs> Steve is a must for completing the time challenges. Okay, I think his hand, yep, that's plus five, so it's done. Uh, so let's get the Sigma Breaker on now. Some enemies are weaker against the wrench, and some enemies are weaker against the hammer, so it is good to have both. You could try and have every uh, high-end gun for mags as well if you really want to, but that shouldn't be necessary. I think that having both of his wrenches is sufficient, and just having the supernova is good enough.
take this guy out first since he has ranged attacks. Or both together, that's even better. <laughs> We are going to take the teleport, because it just saves time. If we started off with that strategy for Max, then, um... Or just by having Steve take care of stuff, then we probably would have, um... Beaten the time challenge. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nice. What do we get for this? Well, other than the metal. <laughs> Hopefully this gives us potato pie or something. Garnet? I mean, I'm not complaining. Okay, we're, we're gonna take the sun route. We're gonna have to rerun this floor again anyway, and go the moon route. Uh, where's the oil? This is because my inventory wasn't organized. Right here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're just gonna back out and come back in. save. Alright. Uh, so that unlocked this route here. Now let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Steve handle this floor and we're probably gonna get the time challenge and then we are going to go through the moon exit. And then we can just come back here to do the item metal later on down the road. And then I feel like doing the item challenge and uh, trying to get this done within the 12 minutes is just going to be impossible. And it's not good enough, of course. Okay, that helps a lot, actually. Okay, so that's probably the last path that we're going to go down. I'm talking about the um, the gate key area, or the the room that requires us to uh, go behind the locked door, simply because we don't have the key. That's kind of the main reason why, really. Is this thing plus five now? Not yet. The last Gadian. And the swords are broken. Okay. <laughs> Let's try putting the Nova Cannon on. I want to test its damage against this thing. That is higher damage. No, it's not. Okay, so the, the sword is actually better. The Nova Cannon just has the range. And lets you be safe, I guess. Well, in these harder areas where the enemies have, like, almost 10,000 HP, you can't really afford to be safe. That guy just blocked it to reduce the damage. That's some elite level stuff. <laughs> Jet hover back on. Let's go! Is 
Stop being stuck on the treasure chest. Don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's such an old meme. <laughs> and this thing's HP goes down so quick. Well, every single enemy, ever every single hit brings down a weapon hit point, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. It's plus five, so we can just kind of leave it alone now. Uh, let's just put his normal gun back on, and we'll leave this wrench on. Okay, um, do that. Repair his weapon. Uh, let's just get back on Steve. Okay, not the enemy I wanted to lock on to. That kind of screwed me over, screwed me up a little bit. Too bad we don't need Steve's experience points for literally anything at this point in the game. Ah, uh, some hits do two, two hit points to his sword. That's why it breaks so easily. This is a clown. Yep. Another Sigma Breaker, I'm not complaining about that. Means we can plus five one and then start leveling up the other. Steve is basically the carry. <laughs> I am very happy that the Samurai Sword 4 and the Nova Cannon 4 exist. That makes this... that's gonna make this grind a lot more bearable. <laughs> How do we actually craft ride pod fuel? What materials are needed for it? Improve bomb, stamina drink, and poison. Oh, so poison is used for literally one thing in the game. Okay. <laughs> All right, sweet. Well, I think we actually only have one more fuel left, right? Yeah, well, we're gonna use it. We'll organize our inventory. And we're probably gonna have to go see Mayor Need after it. after this, or not Mayor Need, go see Morton or whatever his name is to just buy more because that's gonna be a lot easier. Another clown, huh? Do you have another Sigma Breaker for us? <laughs> not quite, but I'll take that. Big Bucks Hammer. I'll use it for its stats. I don't know how quick it levels up. Dealing damage to two enemies at once, sure you're taking out two enemies, but you're also taking double weapon damage. Okay, there's two of them here. Okay, we gotta fix this. These swords just eat weapon powder. It's okay. If we just max our stacks every dungeon, then this should be very doable. Okay, we don't have to take the teleport to the speeda. Wait, wait, there's another enemy? Oh yeah, there's another enemy up at the uh, exit. That's the last one there. Should be able to get there easily enough though. 
Okay, just a wolf. He's weak against the sword, too. Sweet. So this is like 100% within the 12 minutes, because that was like maybe 7 minutes at most. So what, that's about what it felt like. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Efficiency, I like it. How many minutes did we get that done in? Man, that's annoying. It keeps bringing us down there. Uh, eight minutes. Yeah, pretty good. So, maybe this won't be as hard as I thought it would be. Famous last words. Hopefully it's not as hard as I was originally thinking it would be. <laughs> Trolley oil. Right there. Okay, his wrench is plus five now, right? Yeah, so we can just kind of leave that then. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, wait, this was the right exit, right? I hope so. Was it? Okay, good. Flotsam's broken army, that's something you can call it. Those are all the really hard floors. Okay. Um... I'm thinking... Alright. So... We are going to leave it here for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. So pretty much what the next episode is going to be like, is it's going to be kind of how... I cheese weapon leveling, because I'm pretty much just going to go around, go about and get everything I can to like, I'm just going to get weapons to plus five, as you saw, I'm going to break them down and make our ultimate weapons max stats, and I'm going to do it the lazy man route by just using the money glitch, so that I don't have to come in here and farm anything, and I'm pretty much just going to get all of their weapons to max stats with, uh, buying like the things I need for level up powders and then just adding weapons and diamonds onto my weapons. So the next episode will probably end up being that. The one after will likely be the Metalhead Trophy or the, uh, the final evolution of the Monster Trophy. And then we're going to have the last part. So see you in the next episode. Bye.